Welcome friends once more time to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna do all things pumpkin. We had all those pumpkins for Halloween and now we need to find things to do with them. So I'm gonna do a soup. I'm gonna roast the pumpkin seeds. I'm gonna roast some pumpkins and I'm gonna do some bol bling de pash de abobre or it's uh, little balls um, that my mom used to make and with a pumpkin, and then she would roll it in sugar and cinnamon, and we love those. So that's what I'm gonna do today. All things pumpkin. I'm gonna get rid of all the pumpkins that I had, and I'm gonna utilize them all and see where we come up. So anyway, in here I have the seeds. And what I did is I took them all, the gushy stuff and wash them good, put some uh, malagueta, some fresh garlic, chopped it real fine, and then some salt, and I let it that in the refrigerator overnight. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350, and I'm gonna roast all these pumpkins. So that's what I'm gonna do. In here I have, this was the kind of uh, the pumpkins. I don't like to roast and use all the pumpkins. There are some pumpkins that are very fiber. Those go for the chickens. But this one, um, I really like this pumpkin because it's kind of sweet. And uh, uh, this is those big and kind of more shallow pumpkins. Um, like I said, not all pumpkins. I don't like all pumpkins. People, we used to eat them all of them when we were kids. But, uh, but, but now I'm more selective. So in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, drizzle in all this pumpkin, and I'm gonna roast this. And you can eat this just as a side dish. I mean, you can make so much stuff with this. You can make casseroles. I'm gonna make a soup. And uh, there's many ways. So we used to eat this as a side dish. Um, when we were at home. And I'm gonna put a little bit of um, salt. Just because you need all things seasoned. So, season all this. And this goes in the same pan, I mean the same oven that I have my pumpkin seeds. This goes in the same oven for probably about 40 minutes or until you go with the knife you pierce and it they're soft so that's where this is going okay this one i cooked already um i boiled some uh the pumpkin and i'm gonna make um but that's gonna be somehow so called maybe filage the bobra. I've heard different names that people make these. So I'll put these aside. Anyway, so now I'm gonna start my soup. And I love this soup in a winter day. It's, and you know, you can put, put pretty much whatever you want. I'm gonna put some celery, some carrots. It kind of sweetens up. I have a whole onion and maybe four cloves of garlic. You don't need to chop things small because then we're gonna blend all this. And have here maybe about four or five cups, depending on how many how thick you want and how many is in your family. So there's probably about five cups of um, uh, pumpkin that I just cleaned it. So it's still raw, I just cleaned the uh, outside. And I have some uh, um, cumin. I love the flavor of cumin with all these warm um, spices and warm um, vegetables, it's so good. So I'm gonna do mine in my Instant Pot. You don't have to do yours in the Instant Pot, but I'm trying to do quick, fast, all this stuff. So, um, my mom used to make all kinds of things. Like I said, my dad used to plant the pumpkins um, between the corn. Uh, when he planted the corn, he would put pumpkins. So we would have not only so much pumpkins for 
the pigs because he used to make grow them for the pigs but for us and he would hold them in um in a cool place for a long time and my mom would do different things with it and these were things that we did with them um so i have in my saute button and i'm gonna put my onion and my garlic and just kind of like saute this for a little bit so this is a perfect time for these um, kind of recipes because it's cooled outside and I, I just love it. I just love making these. Um, I also make these. I don't wait up to wait for pumpkins. Uh, you can use butternut squash soup. Um, I actually mine before I used to roast it. I used to roast all this and then um, do the soup. You can do that too. You don't have to make it in a pot. You throw all these ingredients in a cookie sheet, roast it for a few minutes, and then you can make your soup with it. I put everything in a blender, had some chicken broth, and it makes uh, easy, easy peasy soup. So I'm just gonna let this saute in here. I'm gonna add my um, celery too, because all it's gonna do is kind of get flavor from those onions. I'm using these veg, just these vegetables, but you can add more. Um, I also used to use um, cauliflower. You can add cauliflower to this because this is all going to be pureed. Um, I used to do this when my kids were home, and that was one way for me to incorporate some more vegetables for them. And, uh, and it makes a delicious soup because you have all those vegetables and you can't even tell. And then it becomes like a very creamy soup. Um, it is so delicious. My mom didn't make this kind of soup. She would make it, she would put the chunk um, of the pumpkin in the soup. You just make like a regular chicken soup, but she would use like, instead of potatoes, she would use the pumpkin. I like better this when it's all pureed. It's almost like a, a pumpkin bisque. It's so good. These are sauteing real nice in, in here. Put a little bit of salt to start draining, drawing some of that moisture from the onion and the vegetables. There with my lid. And I'm using chicken broth, but you can use vegetable broth. If you are a vegan, you can do all this and use a vegetable instead. doesn't have to be. I'm going to add my cumin because what it's going to do is it's going to toast a little bit. And it's going to give a nice toasty uh, flavor to all these vegetables. And this is very easy. Like I said, if you put all this in the in a cookie sheet and throw it in the oven and then when it's all cooked just throw it in a blender mix with your um, chicken broth or whatever you use and you have a soup in no time. I'm going to add my carrots. Get all that in there. And I'm going to add all my uh, pumpkin. We love buying pumpkins for Halloween to decorate, but then we go, what do we do with it? I always find a way to do stuff with them. Even my chickens are loving it. There's some of the pumpkins I don't like. They're too fibrous. And then I'm going to add this whole thing of chicken broth. And then I'm just going to cover, I'm going to put some salt cover, and then uh, probably about 15 minutes. This won't take long to cook all this. It's more to cook the pumpkin and the carrots. I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt. And then we can adjust at the end if it needs more. Oh, and I'm going to put a little bit of pepper. I like, I like, I like a little bit of pepper too. And you put whatever spices you like. If you have other spices, you don't like cumin, you want to put something else, then that's what you do. So, and it has very little water, as you can see. It doesn't have a lot of water. 
Um, I only put that container of uh, chicken broth. So now I'm going to put it on vegetables and put it for 15 minutes. And we'll come back when it's all done. Okay, friends, it's been 15 minutes and my pumpkin is cooked. All my vegetables are cooked. So now I'm going to puree all this. And we're going to blend it over everything. You can do it with a merging blender or you can put it in a food processor. I'm using my blender. So. And you want a smooth consistency. I don't like chunks, so I blend everything real good. And this is how you want. Almost like liquid. So I'm going to puree all this, and then I'll come back and show you what's the next step. Here's my soup. Um, I pureed, and now I'm gonna add a cup of heavy cream or half and half. I didn't have head of heavy cream, so I'm doing a cup of uh, uh, half and half. Look how beautiful this is. It's nice, silken, and smooth. I'm gonna taste for salt. See if it needs any salt. Yes, it does. Probably I'm gonna start with a teaspoon of salt. Ooh, it's so good. That smell of cumin. Look at this. It looks, that looks, smells so good. I'm just gonna let this bring come to a simmer so all those flavors blend and my soup is ready and I'll show you okay friends my soup is done I put a dollop of sour cream in my soup I love that little tangy that it gives in the in the soup and it is so good mmm you know cold day you make this you are gonna love it and it is so simple so easy and you know and you don't have to wait for the pumpkin season i use a lot of the butternut squash butternut squash it makes beautiful soup that's actually my favorite way of doing this you make it all year long butternut squash soup but now that we are getting rid of all those pumpkins we don't know what to do this is what you do all the seeds, I roast them. Here's my seeds. Look at this. A nice snack. And it is so good. And my mom, she used to do this in the big oven. In the big oven in the wall, she used to cook her bread. She used to put this and she would roast these in no time. But then she used to pick them and put them in a grinder. It was almost like a moral and you grind them into a powder and we used to put that powder on top of bread and eat it like that if I told my kids the things we ate sometimes they think I'm a nut but we enjoyed it those were things that we did you know and this is very easy I will have the recipe for my uh, pumpkin seeds and you can do this all year long. I save also my pumpkin seeds from the butternut squash. I save them too and do this. But I always roast my pumpkin seeds. And here it is, my roasted pumpkin. I put it in the oven, put some uh, uh, juice of olive oil, put some salt, and put it in the oven at 400 for about 30 minutes. And then the last 10 minutes, 
I put the at 450 or 400, 500 to kind of give a little color on top. Now, this you can eat this by itself. You can sprinkle some sugar and butter in this. Delicious. You can use this as a side dish for a piece of chicken, a piece of fish, and just that's how we used to eat it. Was a lot was as a side dish. That's something you can do. And here you don't have to waste all those beautiful pumpkins. I see these people that have beautiful pumpkins. And then at the end it's like, oh, I threw them to the goats. So I threw, I'm like, oh my gosh, those pumpkins are so nice and so good to mix up. You can cut them and you can freeze the pumpkin and then cook them however you want. Pumpkin can be fr frozen too. And so is this soup. If you make it, put it in a freezer, then when you want, just take it out and you have a dinner. Use those pumpkins, people. Don't throw them away. So anyway, here's a good example what to do with those pumpkins. Um, I'm going to do one more video with uh, my pumpkins um, balls, which they are a delicious too. So I'm going to do another video with that. So you'll have all my pumpkins have been utilized and some even went for the chickens. So anyway, uh, give it a try. Give me a thumbs up. And give me a comment if you ever tried these recipes, if you ever eaten these before, or your grandparents or parents done this. And until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.